Hello everyone, Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading July 9 to July 15, 2018 and before we go to the reading I want to announce you guys that from this month moving on forward you can also obtain a, a in-depth tarot reading for your month <coughs> that covers up um, the career and the relationship for your star sign for just as little as one as one dollar in addition to the general monthly tarot readings and it can be purchased at my website just go there and seek for the extended monthly tarot readings so that being set aside Sagittarius is your topic of the week that will be uh, marked with the Hermit then we do have the King of Cups as the core of the situation so there is someone that you're gonna take as an, an example during that particular week for what it seems then is the challenges here which is the Ace of Wands and last but not least we do have the guidance that is going to be the Six of Cups alright so uh, first of all that week could seem very overburdening in the sense of that uh, the core of the situation here we do have a man most likely alright someone who is very professional very balanced someone who uh, kinda seem always keeping their cool in general and an example for people and for what it seems you know we do have the hermit card here and that could be that could speak for two way uh, two ways either you would want to take an example of that person and be like him or her all right or either that card points that you are going to be uh, approached by that person because the king of cups also is very known with presenting a attempting offers all right so you could be approached with that person and the uh, um, the offer itself is going to be quite overburdened that is expressed with the hermit if that's the case because the hermit also represents an a withdrawal so let's say that you are approached that could be a proposition for a marriage engagement you know or in general to be in a relationship or a job etc etc but the bottom line here is is that um, you will say I have to think about it all right because for some reason is going to interfere with your ongoing plans displayed with the ace of wands because this card plays a role here as an addition to your or to your already ongoing domestic routine and in general routine you know in career and in relationship life but the hermit card is very important here because when you are about to decide what to do with that particular offer and with that person in general you have to um, you have to allow your wisdom and knowledge to kick in because the hermit is all about that that making very wise decision because this is going to be very important decision all right a decision that probably is going to shape your near future and that's why you have to take it very calculatively you need to take it very accountably toward yourself personally all right <clears throat> And uh, the Hermit also points that if this isn't something that uh, actually gives you a, a reason to look forward to, then there is no point, you know, you, sh you should learn to say no and then there is no point to uh, to generally say yes okay I'm gonna do it but the thing is here with the ace of wands as well as a challenge is that there is a, a very big chance that you may discover especially if we're talking about career wise that you may discover a slumber talent with that card and what is gonna scare you in that proposition on top of that is the in gen is the general activity because it's going to seem very dynamic and that dynamic may interfere with as I said your ongoing uh, <clears throat> structure with your daily routine with your plans in general etc etc but also the ace of wands presents you with a, a solution to issues all right so by taking on that offer here um, a lot of your issues that are presenting at this very moment domestic issues will find a resolution within the frame of that particular offer and uh, afterwards we do have the guidance so what we need to do with that or, or with all that that is the six of cups the six of cups points that this week should not be a week of decisions all right as i said you have to withdraw first and very carefully analyze how you feel about that offer you know how you feel about that person in general and uh, is is it wise to actually take such a step and by you withdrawing that card advises you to kind of occupy your mind with something else with things you like to do for example going into cinema spending time with friends in general things which are actually um, 
occupying your mind as I said and is pushing your mind uh, away from this troublesome it's not even troublesome all right but this occupying um, offer that is actually taking place in the majority of your thoughts and uh, these cards guys are pointing that um, with time probably a couple of weeks uh, the correct choice for you is gonna become obvious it is just you need to take many things under consideration because uh, before you say yes or no and those things needs to be um, taught thoroughly but that thorough thinking or that thorough reconnoitering of the of your thoughts cannot happen over a night and your mind needs a rest as well that's why try to um, Try to involve yourself during that particular week, Sagittarius, is with uh, activities which are pleasant to you and which makes you feel carefree. So that being said, this was your weekly tower reading, Sagittarius. Is. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.